Welcome to the world of FlexSim. First, I will show you an example of FlexSim, followed by basic steps by steps on how to create your own FlexSim model. This is an example of a FlexSim model. Plan, analyze, optimize. Your discrete event or continuous flow simulation will reach its potential with FlexSim simulation software. The most powerful tool for modeling, analyzing, visualizing and optimizing any imaginable process from manufacturer to supply chain and anything in between only flexin lets you build and run your simulation in an immersive 3d environment right from the start no post processing required flexin simulation software is used by industry leaders around the world now i will take you through the basic steps of creating your very own flexin model Firstly, there are a few things you need to be familiarized with. This is the orthographic view grid where you construct your model. The library can be found on the left of the grid. There are discrete objects and fluid objects. But for now, we are only touching on the discrete objects. Many items can be found in a discrete section, but they are classified in the different categories. The source, cube, processor, sink, the conveyor are fixed resources. These objects can send and or receive flow items. Basically, we are focusing on these objects for this tutorial. In order to place the objects onto the grid, you need to move the cursor above the icon and by using left click and holding onto it, drag it onto the grid and release it. In this case, we shall drag the source, the queue, the processor and the sync. You can also adjust the object's position to be on the grid by left clicking on the object and dragging it around the map then release it where you want it to be. The grid can be adjusted to your preferred preferences. Left click is to adjust it horizontally and vertically. And the right click is for the 3D adjustments. By left clicking and holding onto the grid, drag it and move your mouse around to your preferred position. We need to link the objects together in order for it to function. How do we do that? Hot keys are needed for this procedure. The keys used for port connection is key A. So basically, while pressing A key, click and drag on the port connections between the objects. This is important you drag from the sending object to the receiving object. Do the same for all connections. If you make any mistakes during port connection, you can delete the connections by holding on the Q key. Click and drag port connections between the objects. It is actually the same procedure from connecting, but this time it's of a different key. To edit any objects, right click it and click properties. Every object has the same set of property tabs. Visual tab for look and size, general tabs for port connections and display switches, labels for defining attributes, statistics for throughput, states, queuing, and stay time. You may also change the graphs, chart, and reading. For example, now I'm editing the processor. You may edit the shape, texture, color. Objects can be repositioned, resized, and reorientated from the property windows. To edit the parameter of the object, right click the object and click parameters. Each object has its own parameter windows. Parameters affect the time that flow items stay in object and how they are routed from object to object. Apply will accept the changes. OK will accept the changes and close the window. Cancel will close the window without accepting changes. Property button will open the property windows.
To run the simulation, use the icon run on the bottom left corner of the screen. Before that, you must click on the reset button to reset all attributes to zero. You can control the run speed with the slide control which has no effect on the simulation result. The execute menu can be used to set the run speed and the stop time. Before running the simulation, make sure you turn on the full history on as the statistics menu. After running the simulation, Flexim will compile the results automatically for you. After the compilation, to generate the summary report, we need to use the statistics menu. Go to the statistics menu and click report and statistics. Click on the generate report under the summary tab. The summary report will be automatically generated. To customize what you can see in your summary report, go to the statistics menu and click on report and statistics. Then go to the summary report tab and add and remove the items you want to see in the report by using the left and right arrow. After that, click on the generate report. Microsoft Excel will automatically generate the report for you and you can see the list of items you customized earlier on. For tutorial 1, we want to set the number of people arriving at a post office every 60 seconds on average. We can do so by double clicking on the source object. You will see a pop-up box showing the source 2 parameters. Go to source and look for inter-arrival time. Click on the arrow down and look for statistical distribution, exponential, 0, 10, 1. The number 10 represents the waiting time. Therefore, change the number to 60. Doing so, we want to set the service time at the one and only service window in the post office at log normal 31 3.1 0 0.5 seconds. We can do that by double clicking on the processor. A pop up box processor 3 parameters will appear. Look under process time. Click on arrow down and search for statistical distribution. Select the option and change the exponential to log normal. Followed by 31, 3.1, 0 0.5. We also want to set the queue in a way that if the service window assists 20 people, new arrivals will be routed out of the model as unhappy customers. Double click on the queue object. Under maximum content, change the limit to 20. After that, we need to add one more thing to the grid and connect it to the source. Finally, click on run and you can see that when the queue reaches 20, there will be one unhappy customer at the new thing. This is end of tutorial 1. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and be able to understand the fundamentals of Flexim. Thank you.